Let's get to our weekly segment. We bring you every single Thursday. Yeah, we're helping you plan for the weekend ahead by showing you some of the local events that you cannot miss. And we, of course, do this with our friend Danny from the Luke and Howe Morning Show on WLLR. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, David. Good morning, and good to see you both. Good yeah, to you see too. you too. So, if you're thinking of, I don't know, hitting the road, absolutely. Are we always. thinking about that? <laughs> you actually are thinking of hitting the road right yeah. now. Uh, be sure to stop by the RV and camping show. It's happening this weekend. So, I do you like camping. I glamp. Okay. Well, <laughs> Which, this is, would be perfect for you then. You could. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I want it to be comfy. Yeah. You could, uh, if whether you're new to this sport, is it a sport? Uh, you, for buying your first travel trailer or renting your first travel trailer or you're a seasoned traveler with an upgrade in mind, then this is the place to be. RV show, it's a one-stop shop. Here we go, showing you exactly what you can get. This is, uh, they talk about all the sports that you actually can do out, outside. Fishing, yeah. everything that you can do with your family. And I've not been to the one here. Maybe mm -hmm. this is the year that I should, but in years past, I've definitely visited. Yeah, well, and these RV shows get so, I mean, the RVs are just incredible. I mean, they're like houses. They are. Like, no. they get so fancy. I like, I love, see I mean, we, there's fancy lights on them now. There's, I mean, you can live in them. There, yeah, some of these are, you could be, you could live in them. It is a great way. Uh, I know that when I was talking to my son, I think he was three when we started talking about it. He was like, he wanted to go in an RV and just travel oh, yeah. around. Um, it's a perfect for a vacation. I used to do that with my dad and my brothers and sisters. It was the way that we would spend some time together over the summer. Well, and you know what? Even if you're not interested, like right now, to buy one, just to walk through them, oh, yeah. oh so fun. That, I love it. That is happening this weekend. All the details, the time. Um, I wish I had it pulled up. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind this morning. Oh, you're but, good. Um, it is happening this weekend. We'll have the time. So on our website, yeah. WQAD.com. Yeah. But I needed to talk about something really tasty this morning because I haven't had breakfast. And it's the first weekend of Lent. And so fish fries, of course, are starting tomorrow. Um, I know that you can really get fish any time of year. But I went ahead and I went on to um, the Quad City Food Lovers Facebook page, and I put out a, an ask. I said, where can you get the best food uh, fish fry? And there was more than 70 comments, and the majority of people say to go to St., and I might be saying this wrong, St. Alphonsus okay. Catholic Church we're, over we're in Davenport. Davenport okay. And so um, I went to their Facebook page, and I tried to get some information here. Um, they say that they have been rated, like, the best fish fry in the Quad Cities for years in a row. And they do baked or battered fry fish. They got baked potato, they got the French fries, coleslaw, pickles. Um, they also have, if, if fish isn't for you, they also have grilled cheese sandwiches. Um, and so they'll be doing that Friday, serve from four till seven. And so they have different pricing on that. Adults, 14, kids, five bucks. And I am I am there, I am all about. You've been talking about this all week, actually. I have been upset, <laughs> I love a fish fry. And uh, so I'm, I'm ready for it. Fish, yes. yes. This is, that's why I really love this time of the year leading up to uh, Easter because mm -hmm. you get such great fish. Yes. And there's so many other places too. That's just one of them. Obviously, mm -hmm. many of our restaurants and, and places like that have fish fries. Don't we have the whole list on our website? Yes, we do have a list on our website, oh. WQAD.com. And of course, you can scroll through on, on I'll make sure that we update our, our website because we're, we're pulling some of the, the favorites from last year. But I, I'll make sure that we uh, have some of the, the new ones as awesome. well. Awesome. Well, Danny, I know you have a busy, busy, busy weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only will I go out to the RV camping show at the Expo Center, but it's Cinch World's Toughest Rodeo Weekend. Yeah. So Do you get a day off? I, no, I don't, no. <laughs> Next week, actually, I'm gonna be, literally, you guys, I'm so busy this weekend that I'm actually gonna take next week off because I'm gonna be exhausted, so. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you that. You a week off from work? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually gonna have a whole week off of work. But yeah, I'm gonna go out to the Cinch World's Toughest Rodeo Saturday evening. I'll be there like five to seven, but the rodeo officially kicks off at 7.30. But you know, they do so much fun stuff on the floor for kids and families. So go early because they do, they have, um, they have pony rides and they have roping for the kids to do. And it's, it's just a load of fun. Yeah. Are you emceeing this event or are you, are you just going for fun? I, well, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm there for the station. Um, but then I also stay a little while because it's so much fun to watch yeah. the kids. One year they did mutton busting. Are you kidding me? It was so oh, fun. God. The kids get involved. It is fun. Yeah. 
We're watching some video of, of the, the bull riding right now, and that's we saw one person get picked up by the bull and thrown. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, did you know that bulls can be named by, you know, like their attributes? They could be named by movie titles and oh. the weather. And weather? And hmm, like stormy or? <laughs> yep, or tornado or, any, yes. Oh. A boo. There you go. Okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's a, that's a nice uh, Phoenix weather term, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danny, thank you so much. Well, we'll miss you next week. Yes. Yeah, well, I hope Pat does a good job. I'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be home in her PJs watching. <laughs> Danny, Thanks, thank Danny. you. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you guys, too.